Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be starting the Pisces Marathon with this reading. It's going to be a freestyle reading, so whatever needs to come through will. I'm going to be using the Apocalyptic Tarot. You can get this one on Amazon. Take what resonates with you. As always, leave the rest. Thank you so much for being here. This is good for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And welcome to the Pisces Club. If by any chance you're new, I invite you to click on that subscribe button if you would like, like to get a shit ton of readings. <laughs> it's a lot of readings. I post a lot of readings. And um, on the marathons, I post Pisces focus readings on different things. So this is a freestyle, but there's like love, money, career, um, stalkers who stalk in you, stuff like that. <laughs> so it's like a full menu every weekend. Let's give this new Dex a big, big shuffle. In the meantime, guys, check out our Valentine's line of merch. You're gonna love it. It's in the description box below. You are going to love it. There are four designs, one for self-love, one for um, couples, men and women, Two women and two men. There's four designs, and I think you're really gonna like them. So they're linked below in the description box. All right, let's begin. Messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most relevant, accurate, and important messages for Pisces. Queen of Wands, first energy showing up here. Right now, Pisces, you may be in a very empowered state, multitasking, doing things, being busy and beautiful, handsome, bright, magnetic. <laughs> right now, you may have this sort of like celebrity factor to you. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person that may be a little demanding for you at this time. You got the two of wands as your challenge. So you may be having a little bit of a hard time either staying focused on your path or being very clear on what you want to do next. You may have a very general idea like, yeah, I want to do this and this and that, you know, this is the path I'm in or these are the changes I want to make. But if you soon zoom in on it, you may not be clear as far as like the details, when exactly you want to do what, how much of what you want to do, you know what I mean? Like kind of like zooming in, you may not be as clear as you think you are. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to sort of like evaluate that. If you feel like it, of course. Recently, you may have uh, dealt with a Capricorn person. This person could have been a little manipulative, a little obsessive, kind of toxic. Or you may have sort of like connected to that part of yourself, Pisces, recently, in which maybe you're obsessing about something or you're needing to escape reality through um, substance abuse, overeating, bad habits, self-sabotage, you know, the usual <laughs> for the devil card. Some of you guys are drinking too much. I see someone here who's bored out of their mind and they're drinking just because there's like nothing else to do. <laughs> um, just watch that. Not the healthiest thing. I love drinking, but I rarely ever do. I find that water signs like to drink and I find that air signs like to smoke. I don't know if that's like a thing of the element. All right, four of pentacles in your mind space. So Pisces, you could be desiring to sort of keep your cards close to your heart, maybe not revealing your plans until you know exactly what you wanna do or not revealing them at all. Some of you guys are gonna be very drawn to privacy, staying kind of low key, under the radar, doing your things quietly and letting your success speak for itself. Some of you guys um, feel like you need to start saving money 
or continue to save money. Some of you guys have spent during the lockdowns, quarantine, during this whole pandemic, I think that you have spent on things that could be unnecessary or that you haven't been able to use because of the pandemic. So this would be kind of like, oh, I got a super awesome tent to go camping. And then it's like sitting there because you can't really go camping right now or something like that. Or I got this incredible bike or this, I don't know, like super beautiful high heels for events <laughs> or social gatherings. And there's no social gather gatherings going on right now, stuff like that. So um, it would be a good time for you to sort of like just observe that and say, okay, maybe maybe it would be a good idea to, instead of keep buying things that I won't be able to use anytime soon, maybe, um, you know, invest it, save it. In the near future, you seem incredibly empowered with your money and your empire Pisces. You could be in the future dealing with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus person as well. Could be the same Capricorn here if that's something that resonates with you. If that's not the case, that's fine. But honestly, I feel like this King of Pentacles is you. Having levels of stability you could only dream of before. And it has, or it will be, becoming so normal for you. It's gonna be sort of like, in the past, you maybe thought of buying a property and it seemed like the craziest thing. It seemed like so absolutely undoable. You may have thought like the bank would never approve me. Stuff like that. Like it seemed so far-fetched. And now, especially in the near future, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, totally. I got approved and I have my property and it's all good. Like, it's the most normal thing ever. Like, yeah, I have savings. I have, I have, um, I don't know, whatever. A closet full of clothes I like. When, as before, that would have been, like, a luxury beyond any practical, you know? Kind of like a, like, it wouldn't be practical for you to spend that much money. And now it's like becoming more and more normal or it will be. And you're going to be investing and keeping your reality very organized. Even if it becomes overwhelming at times, it seems like you're going to have everything in order. And you're going to be becoming stronger and stronger, more talented, more abundant, more magnetic to money. And the more you work, the more your luck improves, it seems. So it's like, you're going to be growing so fast, so deeply, but you're going to feel super chilled. You're not going to feel pressured. You're not going to feel like you're doing something crazy. You're just going to be making a lot of money. And I know that many of you, I always say this, and it seems like a false kind of like a promotion of my online course. It's honestly a promotion of my online course because I know it can help. <laughs> um, if you guys are a Pisces, and Pisces Sun at least, and you really haven't experienced any kind of betterment in your finances the last two years, I would definitely recommend the Abundance Blueprint course. Because astrologically, Pisces has received a massive boost. I know that like 70-80% of you guys have transform your lives completely in this last years without really doing anything different without taking the course without anything like that just just by being pisces you have received this massive boost so if you haven't consider that if it resonates the information is going to be below because honestly guys i see you being more and more and more powerful but i see i feel like there's always if there's 500 comments there's always one comment of someone like i really seriously have experienced the absolute opposite and it's just like how odd to me it's just kind of odd because i receive way more messages of you guys like yes i bought my first house yes i changed my car yes you know abundance here there then my dream job my travels a lot and it's like i don't understand why some pisces are just not 
living this, you know? Ace of Swords. This is the message from the universe. This card is beautiful. It has crows. It has um, squirrel. The tripping squirrel. <laughs> Um, it has runes, so that's kind of like an inner joke with the subscribers that watch all the readings. Um, the runes here, it's very mystical, very magical, kind of like a Nordic vibe that may be relevant for some of you guys. Um, this is a card of clarity, communication, conversations that bring in clarity, um, aha moments, ideas that can come in. That are just like the answer to your problem, just like hitting you in the face. <laughs> and that's kind of like what the universe wants you to know, that you're going to be experiencing a lot of this. Sort of like, oh, you know, I would really love to, I don't know, get a red dress. And then all of a sudden, like, your best friend's like, hey, I bought this red dress, but I have never worn it. And I'm getting rid of it. Do you want it? It's like the perfect new red dress. Something like that. Kind of like an aha moment. Something that comes in or... Maybe even more of a realization, more of like an answer that is sort of like revealed to you unexpectedly, maybe through communication. Right now, Pisces, strong. You're very, very strong right now. Honor that strength, continue to build it up. There is really no obstacle that can stand in your way. You, uh, in this illustration, she has a lot of different, you know, arms and each one of them has kind of like a weapon and different symbols. She is riding a super huge tiger. And so the person here that is uh, represented as an obstacle honestly doesn't stand a chance at all. At all. So that is how you're being um, perceived by others and how your energy is showing up. So if you feel like there are obstacles that you can't overcome right now, that is probably your mind playing tricks on you because your energy is very, very strong. And if you organize yourself, maybe if you start saving or being a little bit more mindful about what information you reveal to others, about what, um, how much you spend and stuff like that, if you're more mindful, I think that you will be able to see your strength manifested more clearly. I knew it. I just knew it. Eight of Swords. Um, in your environment, you may realize that there are certain things, maybe people's opinions, maybe society's beliefs that are holding you back. An example of this would be everyone is losing their job because of the virus. And you hear people say this. The economy is a mess. You hear people around you say this. No one is making money at this time. Everyone is angry. All of these things that you may hear that sound like facts, some of you guys may believe them. But that is not the case. There's so many people who are thriving in this time of the pandemic getting better jobs, getting higher pays, getting all sorts of amazing things that they did not have before. But your mind might tell you, oh, but they are the exception. Why though? Why are you not part of that group? Why can't you be the exception? Those are thoughts that are around you that you hear and that you accept. Don't accept them. This does not have to be a reality. And it may manifest in a lot of different areas of your life. You may say, or people around you may say, you know, it's okay, you're just not beautiful enough. You know, it's okay, some people are beautiful and some people are not. <laughs> people may say this to you. And some of you may accept this as truth. Maybe you hear around like, well, you know, you're just very sensitive, you're super sensitive. Or, you know, I don't know, it's like you hear stuff around you that ultimately you believe and those beliefs limit you. They limit you and they're limiting you right now. So don't let them because you are so strong. You are unstoppable if you allow yourself to understand and believe how unstoppable you are. Hopes and fears. 
you want to take a leap of faith, maybe, in some area of your life. Maybe you want to start something new, take a risk, do something that feels exciting, inspiring for you. But you may be feeling afraid of a lot of things in regards to that. Like, will it work? Will it not work? Two of Swords. <laughs> this is like Game of Thrones meets the Queen's Gambit. <laughs> um, two of Swords. So you're going to be making important decisions. But Pisces, right now, due to these beliefs that maybe you're not even aware that you have, due to them, you are going to be really considering how to move forward. There are going to be things that you need to make a choice about. There are going to be things that you thought you kind of knew already where you were going, as I said at the beginning of the reading. But as you zoom in on it, you realize that you actually don't know exactly what's going on. And there's a lot of answers that you don't have. So as you go ahead and make these decisions, you may be considering this new beginning, this full energy. But ultimately, what I love is that you are the king of pentacles in the near future. So you definitely figure it out. Saving could be a good part of it. Could be a good chunk of what pulls you forward. And when I mean saving, yeah, I mean the money. But I also mean your energy. I also, I also mean like don't throw away your energy taking care of everybody else's needs but your own. Don't throw away your time. Don't throw away your money. Be more mindful about how much you give versus how much you receive. That's what I'm getting here very strongly. Let's take the jumping cards. Upright. Messages for Pisces. Wow. <laughs> this is going to be even bigger than the main reading. <laughs> the, the main spread I just did. Alright, give me a second, you guys. Let me set this whole thing up. This is the Apocalyptic Tarot, by the way. I don't know if I said that at the beginning. Yeah, definitely a lot of confusion. A sense of not knowing exactly what is reality and what is those narratives in your mind. Not taking action until you can clarify that, which is very smart to me. Lots of hard work in what you understand is certain. It's like there are certain things that you know are exactly what you want to do, so you're focusing on those. And the things that you don't know that could be overburdening you right now, the doubts, the decisions that you need to make, um, you're sort of like leaving those for later. You're going to have support, teamwork. You're going to very easily be able to let go of the things that don't serve you. So if you can identify those limiting beliefs, they're going to be able to be removed by you very quickly. You're going to walk away from them very naturally. Okay, so I love that, Pisces. You're going to be walking into your Ten of Cups, highest emotional fulfillment here, happiness, if you follow your intuition. High Priestess. Your success may take some time, and there's definitely some aspects that you need to consider. But you're already going to be seeing uh, some, some of the rewards showing up. And that is going to give you sort of like the excitement that you need, the inspiration that you need to keep moving forward. Even if you understand that the things that you want to manifest maybe are not going to come in as quickly. However, your letting go of obstacles is coming in that quickly. Lots of abundance here in the future for you, not only emotionally, but financially, literally money, prosperity. 
fame, recognition. Love, for some of you guys, we've got the lover's card here. It's like you want, for those of you this resonates with, it's like you want a love that is fair and square. <laughs> you want a love that gives you as much as you give them. You're not taking third-party situation options anymore. Maybe some of you guys are trying to release a third-party situation. It's no longer fulfilling for you. You want more. Could be uh, letting go of a Capricorn. Letting go of a Scorpio. Ending a connection, perhaps, some of you guys. Some of you could be feeling very drawn to your own freedom, your own need for being single and experimenting and, and enjoying life in your own way without a partner. Some of you guys may feel very inclined to be very harsh about this and just kind of cut something off like abruptly. And ultimately with a judgment card, like everything is going to sort of like the consequences will arrive for everyone and how they're dealing with anything. So basically what I'm getting with that is if you take the time to analyze what you want to do, then you're going to get a good result out of that. If you allow yourself to be patient, you're going to get um, a good feeling overall in the process of manifesting your desires. If you ask for more in love, you want more, you set higher standards for yourself, you're going to get more. But if you don't, you're going to continue to get what you don't like or what you have been experiencing already. Okay, Pisces, so this is what I have for you. This is our um, opening reading, freestyle reading. Expect a lot of posts this weekend. I'm super excited for the different decks that I'm going to be using. All of these are new, so I got a new batch and I can't wait to share them with you. Um, also, as far as news for the channel, the Shamanic Journey series is up and upgraded, you guys. Seven days to self-love. Seven days connecting to the animal medicine shamanic journeys day by day. So you get one on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Seven days to self-love. You learning how to connect directly to the animal medicine of each spirit guide. A shamanic initiation beautiful absolutely awesome <laughs> check it out um those of you who have already purchased it you're gonna get the upgrade for free okay so it's gonna automatically get upgraded for you can't wait to get the feedback on the new quality of everything it's just really good so check it out 49.99 february is a great month to work on self-love I know it's like Valentine's and it's supposed to be like romantic love and stuff. But like, I don't know. I feel like romantic stuff begins with our relationship with ourselves. If you resonate with that, check out everything that I have for you in February. So the Shamanic Journey series and the Valentine's line with the mugs and the hoodies and everything valentine's check it out under this video i love you guys i'll see you in the next one